three. It's somewhere between two and a half and three trillion dollars in rising growth rapidly. So it's, it's more on the tail end of the distribution side and the more of the distribution. So if you're looking at averages, you just don't see the, the problems that are developing. And quickly, Mark, let me do the thing that triggers uh, any concern in there that just makes it something more than a uh, potential issue. Is it have to be rates going up? Now let me say there's a lot of script here between here and then, and, and, and regulators can respond, right? They can issue guidance, slow things down, so, you know, sure. this isn't necessarily going to be the problem, but if I had to pick something to look at today, that would, this would be it. Yeah. As usual, Mark Sandy from Movies. Thank you very much. Brokers pays 1.41% on U.S. dollars in your brokerage account. Do you know how much your broker pays? Most banks or your brokers pay nothing, or less than a quarter of 1%.
percent. The minute we report this number, anything that touches housing, those stocks move. CNBC keeps an eye on every number in the housing market because it tells us where the economy is going. This year. Uh, but I do think people are, you know, looking at the way last week finished. Broad S&P 500 gets to a new high. NASDAQ had had a more recent new high and a weekly <laughs> breakout on the chart. You know, nothing above you to, to stand in your way. And I think that uh, you have people at least trying to play for a follow through. Uh, one of the reasons for that, by the way, might be last year, which was in August is really when the market took off. Uh, the market on October, on August 18th of last year was only up 8 percent year to date, kind of what we are right now. Right, right. Uh, despite the fact that August and September are still is about the, the Caterpillar Boeing, that's your trade anxiety basket. Um, so they trade down, right or wrong, when you get a, a scary trade headline, they bounce when it looks like it might have a piece on the trade front. So that makes sense to me. Um, and in terms of Goldman, I mean, the stock got relatively cheap for Goldman, um, and it's not as much of a yield play as some of the other ones. So uh, it seems like it's just playing along. Um, you know, Goldman not, not being strong with the overall market at new high would actually be a pretty conspicuous issue to uh, the downside if it happened. Uh -huh. um, I mean, Netflix again up over 4%. At the beginning of last week, I was talking about how it was. <laughs> 